right, next stop, Memento Park. All right, we finally made it. I feel like this took another freaking hour to get out here, but this is a, and I hope they're still open, this is an open air museum of all the old communist statues that were taken down when Hungary got its independence in 1956 from the Soviets. Now you see those boots up there? Those boots are replicas of Stalin's boots. And what I read online, and it almost seems unbelievable because of how sensational the story is, is that when the regime ended, the people took to the streets and went to a Stalin statue and cut him off at the boots right there, toppled the statue over and then started beating it, destroying it and ripping pieces and taking it with them. And those are not the original shoes that were left, those are replicas just to represent the independence. Now these are not replica statues throughout this whole park. These are the original ones, they did keep them. So as not to forget. So let's go on in. It says Memento Park on it, Trabant. It was 1500 forint to get in. And the sun does not look like it is gonna participate with us today. But I think it's history, so we need to see it, right? I mean, I feel like we need to see it. And this statue is actually a statue that had been in a city north of Hungary, um, in northern Hungary, and uh, they, the city council there still owns it and actually loaned it to Memento Park. You see lots of Stalin, Lenin. It's gonna be uncomfortable. And guys, I'm gonna show you everything I can, every single statue I can. I switched lenses, guys, so we'll see how this does. See if we can get a little bit tighter, better shots of some of these than with the wide angle. Let me tell you why I came here. As I was flying here, I knew this was a place that I was on the fence about coming. But you know what I started to think? I started to think, what if you were born here in Hungary, say in 1923, something like that. Say you're 20 years old and all of a sudden the Nazis come in and take over and you don't wanna leave. And then shortly thereafter, the communists come over and they take over. And then in your life, you see it all end and go back to a rebuilding stage. And I just thought, I'd kind of like to see what it feels like to see some of these statues that they would have had to look at unwantingly every day. I want to see how that felt. That guy is massive. See that red star right there in the middle? They even sell uh, communist memorabilia in the gift shop, surprisingly. Now there are definitely a lot of things like this to Lenin, but I'm a little surprised that they don't have more to Karl Marx, because I'm sure most of you already know that Karl Marx was pretty much the father of communism and the inspiration to Lenin, or at least that's what I learned, learned. See, I'm showing you a few of these because I want you to see the dates. This one was all the way up until 1983 when this one was made. 
not just the 50s. Now I think it goes without saying that when the Soviets and the Nazis had taken over, they removed everything that was of Hungarian history before. Once again, Lenin. Kalamar Yosef. Oh wow, look at this one. Saying great would be a weird way of describing it, but this is pretty interesting because can you tell that some of it's made out of iron and the section right in the middle is made out of granite or stone? And it's pretty detailed. They look a lot like the Tin Man. There's even, in the very back, a woman with an umbrella. And they actually have a little walkway here. They allow you to walk around it, I believe. Or go up and take pictures. Yep, see? Let's get up there and get close. Sorry guys, I'm trying to keep it as stable as I can and not fall off this hill that it's mounted on. Guys, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to get to the Garden of Philosophy. I think that one you have to uh, pay to get in. It's about... Uh, Almost 6.30 now. I don't think they're going to be open by the time I get over there. We may have to go to the Citadella again while it's dark, if we go at all. And I may just have to shine a light from my phone on it. I wanted to show you a couple things up there. Now I'm sure most of you know, but maybe not all of you do. Did you know that Vladimir Lenin, his body is on display? Like, not the casket. He's in a clear box on display. You can actually go see how he has deteriorated over the years. All right, we've almost come to an end. We only have a few more things to see and I'm saving the most famous piece, the one that I recognize the most for last. And I actually saw this while I was at the uh, swap meet today. I saw a lot of propaganda there with this image on it. I'll show you in just a second. This one is called the Monument of the Martyrs of the Counter-Revolution. That's what I was telling you about. Counter-Revolution. And this is called the Buddha Volunteers Regiment Monument. Wow. Just, I don't know about you, but it just really makes me think. I just can't imagine. I can't imagine like growing up in a place and then seeing all of these changes over the next few years. Especially, like I said, if you lived here, if you grew up here, you knew it before, you knew it during, and now you know it after. What must your world be like Now this is the Republic of Councils Monument, and this is by far the most popular, the most recognizable one that I've seen, and this is actually what the museum uses as their centerpiece 
um, for all of their literature, but like I said, when I was at the swap meet today, I saw a lot of stuff with that on there. And this one's actually rusting away. Alright guys, we're going to get out of here and see if we can't see a little bit more today before we lose the daylight. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the boat trip. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the philosophy garden. I don't know if I'm going to make it back up to the citadella. I already decided I'm not going to the Geller bath. But I think this will at least prove one thing to you. In just a little over a week, even I couldn't do everything that was on my list. And I think with what you've watched, you've seen how hard I've tried. You just can't do everything sometimes, but the beauty is, gives you a reason to come back. And if you look straight through there, you can see Stalin's boots right in the dead center. And we're just gonna see one more statue on our way out because it's actually in the free section outside the museum. And I saw it when I was coming in, but I said, no, 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 I wanna get in there just in case they're gonna close soon. I think it was worth it. What do you guys think? Stalin candle. Well, that's one way to promote your uh, museum. Get a picture of Lenin giving you the thumbs up. And these are what I saw from the road when I was walking in, these toppled ones. Isn't that interesting? They just have them kind of like laying here in the free part. And you can actually see how they would have went into the ground right there or wherever they were. This one's face down. And then there's a couple under there, of course. And then another Lenin one right over here. And I just wanted to do one more tighter shot with my uh, closer lens to give you a shot of those boots. And this is really the only request that I've seen since I've been here. Guests with male genitals kindly refrain from visiting the woman's sun deck. Sounds fair to me. Now I believe that is Marx over there on the left, so that would be the only Karl Marx statue here. Now we gotta hit the road. I feel like I'm being watched. Feeling claustrophobic, I'm close to the crowd, but I would never hurt myself. Rearrow at the party, maybe in the backseat. 